In this video, we are going to solder this little guy on here. Now, this part is just too fine pitch to be able to solder individual pins. With basic tools, we can solder this in using a technique that we'll call wick and flow. Or I guess flow and wick would be the better way around that. So, first thing we're going to do is just like any other part, we're going to get this part placed by blobbing one location like so, and sliding the part in. You can see actually I blobbed two pins there, but that's okay. As long as I can heat up that single spot with the iron at once, we're okay. And notice the pin one dot is there, and we line up with the pin one marker. Okay, so get a good handle on this, come back in, and slide this part in. Looking from above, get it located, bang on that pins, pull your iron away, pull your tweezers away. So let's just take a quick look with the loop. And we're all nicely lined up there. Okay, so we're located on the board. And we'll come over to this side. It doesn't matter that we're bridged there. Don't worry about any bridging yet. We'll come on this side and add some solder to those pins. So now we've got a pretty good secured part. Okay, and we know it's positioned correctly. So now I'm just going to flip this around. And I'm going to flood this whole side. So just with a bit of solder across there, I'm going to coat all of the pins with solder. So this is making the, the electrical connections, even though I'm bridging all the pins together or most of the pins together. And I kind of gently uh, stroke out from there, uh, from the part out to the board. Now you don't want to dry, drag across the pins or else you could risk damaging them. And we'll do the same for the other side. Gonna flow along here. Now again, if you have flux, then you can do this even easier, but we won't use flux, we'll just do it this way because not everybody has flux handy. So you can see that uh, some of these uh, pads have already, uh, the solder has no longer blobbed on them or bridged on them, uh, so we don't even have to worry about those, but of course we have parts that are bridged. So we're gonna take our trusty solder wick and let's do this part first. So you're going to bring your wick on here, and again, broadside of the iron. You're going to press gently towards the board. As soon as we start smoking, we're going to just gently brush out like that. Okay, And that happens very, very quickly. Uh, if you can see this, you might have to replay it a few times, you'll see the solder uh, start absorbing into the wick. And as soon as that happens, you get a bunch of smoke with the from the flux, and you just gently come out. Now, the only danger of this is sometimes you pull off too much. Um, you generally won't break the connection, but sometimes you can get a pretty loose uh, or just barely enough solder on there that actually makes the connection. So you have to double check that at the end. So that's that side, and then let's come over to this side. Same thing. Wait till we see some smoke, and gen just gently brush off. Now, right there, if you ever get your wick stuck onto the board, so right now it's actually soldered itself to the board, you want to be pulling so gently that you just move your fingers. So if I'm pulling this and I, it starts sticking, I'll just move along the wick. So you won't pull off any pads. Uh, and this happens all the time, no problem whatsoever. So you can just reapply and usually you can just pull it off. But if you want, you can add even a bit more solder and that'll loosen it off and you can pull the wick off. The remaining solder that's on there is probably not enough to bridge. So we can just take our iron and just kind of comb out the solder and make sure that all of our joints are looking good. Do a quick inspection with your loop to see if you have any other bridges left and also to see, to make sure that you have a good connection with the pins in the pad. So this is looking pretty good. And when you're done, just to do, a, once you've done a rough inspection like that, you can grab some flex remover and clean this up a wee bit because it does tend to leave a bunch of residue because of the flux on the solder and there's so much solder on there. So we just clean that guy up. Sorry, the wire of the iron's in the way. And there you have a pretty good soldered part. That's a technique called flow and wick. Uh, there's lots of different ways to put parts on like this. This is quite quick, works quite well for fine pitch parts, uh, and it all relies on the surface tension of the solder, and you will have no problem with that part.